I don't know what time of day you're watching this. I'm Pauline and I'm really pleased to be with you and I'm going to be every day. I feel like I have to do this even when I'm talking to you. Maybe you do too. Press my hand sanitizer and wash my hands. We all have to do it. I don't know where you are. I'm in the uh, lounge room of our home, lounge dining room. I wonder where you are in bed or wherever you are. I hope that our conversation helps you. I, I know that you'll do all you can to self-isolate. It's hard actually because I'm someone who loves being with people and I keep thinking how can I make connections? Well we're making a connection now and I'm hoping that all the jobs that you've been planning to do forever but never done because you're never home, you might get to do. But we all know underneath that this is about more than just us. It's about everyone, the whole world. And somehow what we do and what we think is going to connect us to the way the future unfolds. So keep safe, won't you? We have to take it seriously. And I'm not a medical person, but every medical person I know is telling me, Pauline, you keep safe and help others keep safe. So I'm doing my best. The person helping me with the camera is quite a long way away and she and he have to stay that way. Okay, I wanna show you something. This is a little thing I have in my house, a babushka doll, but have a look at it. You, you know what happens. You open it up and there's more. And you open that up and there's more. And there's more more and you think how how many more layers is there I've been thinking that about this virus every day it just seems like there's another thing that we have to know about another fear that we have to confront but there is an end I know that that's the last one one day this will pass this journey and the world will be different do you ever feel afraid of that or panicky. I know I get panicky. What panics me is if I'm in a confined space and I feel like I can't see light and I start to panic and then I have to breathe in and out and I pray to God to calm me. And generally it's okay, but only if I know I'll get that door open. Well, what panics you about this virus? A lot of things I think but let's let's just face today be very calm do something good for someone it'll really help you you're not alone ever there's a story in the Bible that I love very much and actually many churches um, the people heard this story last Sunday and it's about the woman at the well and Jesus asks the woman, he shouldn't really ask the woman because he's not supposed to talk to a woman in public and she was from Samaria. Uh, Samaria was regarded as a country people just looked down on and they looked down on the people. It, it was the way it was in that day, particularly those of Jesus' religion. But he went up to her in the daylight and he said, uh, woman, can, can you give me some water? And uh, we don't know if he was really thirsty, but he probably was. And they had a conversation about water and history. But Jesus was trying to say to her, I've got living water for you. And when they were talking, the woman tried to kind of say to him, well, I'm not very acceptable to you, I know that. And uh, Jesus said, where's your husband? And she says, well, you know, I haven't got one. And, and he said, you're right, you've, you've had five. Now, that could have just been an abrasive situation, but the woman realized Jesus knew all about her, knew everything. And he was looking at her with love. I, I think about you and me. God knows everything about us. Jesus is the flesh of God. And I believe God knows everything about our situation right now. And out of it, that I can't see, something good will come. Something good for the human race. When he looked at that woman, he just looked with love. 
and began to work away for her to feel she could live a life as a person who had dignity, even if she was alone, even if she was very poor, but she had a wealth about her, her history of her people, and also God loved her. And do you know she went back to her people, and for some reason, we don't know, Jesus organized for him and his disciples to stay in Samaria. It was a clear message. I've come for the whole world, not a particular part of the world, not a particular people. I've come for everyone. You're part of everyone. There's a beautiful psalm that relates to that story. And this little doll that has many layers, the virus that has many layers. It's from the psalms written really thousands of years ago. And it talks about the way God knows every part of us before we were even born and how wonderful we are. That goes for our life here, the spirit of us that lives forever. I pray that your household will feel very blessed in some way with whatever you face. And if you're by yourself, may the Holy Spirit comfort you and give you strength. I'll see you tomorrow. Lord, you have examined me and you know me. You know everything I do. From far away you understand all my thoughts. You see me whether I am working or resting. You know my actions. Even before I speak, you already know what I will say. You are all around me on every side. You protect me with your power. Your knowledge of me is too deep. It is beyond my understanding. Where could I go to escape from you? Where could I get away from your presence? If I went up to heaven, you would be there. If I lay down in the world of the dead, you would be there. If I flew away beyond the east or lived in the farthest place in the west, you would be there to lead me. You would be there to help me. I could ask darkness to hide me or the light around me to turn into night but even darkness is not too dark for you, and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because you are to be feared. All you do is strange and wonderful. I know it with all my heart. When my bones were being formed, carefully you put them together in my mother's womb. When I was growing there in secret, you knew that I was there. You saw me before I was born. The days allotted to me had all been recorded in your book before any of them ever began. Oh God, how difficult I find your thoughts. How many of them there are? If I counted them, there would be more than the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Examine me, O oh God, and know my mind. Test me and discover my thoughts. Find out if there is any evil in me. And guide me in the way everlasting.